our team has thought a lot about how the folks in this room could use yeah. generative AI. And so I'd like to welcome Deepak to the stage in yeah. order to present his sneak, yeah. Project Limitless Options. Deepak? Thanks, Eric. Thank you. Hi, Tig. Hello. After a long day, our audience is hungry, especially after the gym sessions with Nikash. So let's talk snacks. Presume you own this website called Tig's Tasty Treats, and I'll be your marketing manager today. I'll show you how Project Limitless Options, a generative AI technology, can help us create content at lightning fast speed and massive scale. I'll show you three things. First, how this technology can help us save costs from repetitive and expensive asset creation process. Second, how it can help us craft a perfect email campaign for a wide variety of audience. And third, how content generation at scale could be auto-moderated to adhere to the brand guidelines. All for right. starter, we have this website with all the different snacks. What do you think about the mascot image here? I think it's right on. <laughs> yeah, but I think we can do better than this. Really? You can do better than that? that we'll show you that. <laughs> we have all our assets in Adobe Experience Manager. And instead of the white apron and hat, wouldn't it be nice if we had more colorful renditions of this image that match the snack brands? Probably, yeah. Like a brown and blue for a pretzel, a red and green for a pizza? Sure. Yeah. So instead of spending our precious marketing dollars on redoing all the photo shoots with all these different colors, let me show you how the Project Limitless Options can help us do this in a matter of seconds. And you're saying you can do something better than this? Better than this, yeah. All right. So I have pre-configured Experience Manager to invoke our service with all the color codes for the different brands. And this one-time configuration can help us generate pixel-perfect images every time. I'll go ahead and reprocess this asset. And in no time, you would see that all these different renditions of the image have been generated. How's that for a time and cost saving? Yeah, that's better. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, not just apparels. Imagine what this technology could do to other verticals, like automobiles, consumer goods, furnitures, and whatnot. The options are limitless. I'd like, yeah, I was going to say, I'd like, you, I'd like to see you do it to whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Sure, Tig. <laughs> yeah, whatever, comedian. <laughs> I'll publish these images, and we can go and check out our website. That looks way better than before, right? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> OK, now that we have our website up and running, let's see how we can drive traffic onto this website using an email crafted with Adobe Journey Optimizer in conjunction with limitless options. We'll show you how to do this in four easy steps. First, we put in the landing page URL here. Second, we choose the campaign audience among a set of pre-canned audience segments that we have. Tig, I know that you like outdoor activities. So how about choosing outdoor enthusiasts here and see what the email would look like for a persona like you? Yeah, let's see it. And finally, we choose the product. What would you prefer, burger or fries? Uh, fries. Right. OK. And I click the Generate button. And in no time, we have our email ready for us. Right. So this guy's just wandering around on a beach? <laughs> Hold on, we'll show you him doing other things too. OK. With fries. Uh, with fries, I know. But I was just thinking, I don't know if I'd be excited or terrified if I saw him on the beach. <laughs> Both? Both, yeah. Yeah. So let me walk you through the different parts of this email campaign. First off, we have the hero image, which is the most salient part of the email. And take a moment. This isn't yet another image from our asset repository. It has been generated on the fly for us, a unique image generated for this specific campaign, for this specific audience, and for the snack. Isn't As it that should cool? be. As it should be. Yes. Yeah. 
And our technology has understood the brand-specific elements like the mascot, the products, all from the landing page, and blended it with a beach, an element that is likely to resonate with outdoor enthusiasts, our audience segment, mm -hmm. and put this all together to generate this image. Right. Wonderful. So you saw the image, but check out these text fragments that are here too. We have a subject line that is something that our audience would see even before they open the email, and we want it to be very catchy. We have a product one-liner, we have a catchphrase, all generated automatically by extracting content from the landing page, contextualizing it for the product that we chose, personalizing it for the audience segment that we chose, and using the language and tone of the brand. That is the power of this technology. Yeah. I love it. It's all part of TIG's tasty treats. It is. And look here. It also knows about other kind of outdoor activities, like camping <laughs> and hiking. What can't this guy do? <laughs> Does he not have a job? Yeah, he is a data scientist in our team. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know if I can tell it. I'll tell you backstage. OK, thanks. <laughs> so we saw this one email campaign for the selected audience and the snacks. But what about all the other audience segments that we saw there, like a parent, a student, uh, extreme sports buff? What about all the snacks, right? So we don't stop here. We have all these different renditions that have been generated. <laughs> <laughs> that is personalization at scale. Yes, it is. Wow, classroom fries, <laughs> car fries, playing tennis fries, hiking pizza. <laughs> what is this, anything. the future? <laughs> yep. Yep. It is. It is. Yeah. It, it's currently the future. <sighs> a process like this typically takes weeks, if not months. And we have been able to do it in seconds. Such a huge time and cost saver. Yeah. Thank you. Finally, as a marketer, I want to be assured that all this generated content adheres to my brand guidelines. And limitless options can help me with that, too, by analyzing the text as well as the image to make sure that it is brand safe. We can see all these auto-moderated yeah, flags here. Approved. Needs what? review. What's up? Some of these are good. Some of these not so good. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing that. That one's good. Beach pizza? Oh, yeah. The, with this technology, the options are truly limitless. However, there is one thing that this cannot do today, which is to tweet on your behalf. So please tweet hashtag project limitless options if you want to see this in product. Thank you. Sweet. Nice.